What's going on, Paisanos? V here. Come on, you guys. Well, a lot of market watch today. You know, Legacy Destruction is a really fuck you set. If I had to just name the set. Like, this set is a fuck you set. Let me explain. Because if you're looking to play Tempai, you have to buy the Super Rare, which is fucking money. So, hold on a second. Let's go Tempai. Tempai. It's like money. Like... What's Pydra's price right now? How much is Pydra fucking everybody right now? I, this is a super rare in this set, Legacy Destruction. And it's $18. You need three. No, but I can play two. You sure, but you need three. Okay. $18 fucking dollars for Tempai Dragon Pydra. Like, what the hell, dude? Uh, this girl's also short printed. So, thank you, Konami. I really appreciate it. And Trident Dragon. But let me explain something to you. Okay, well, let's look at Trident Dragon's price, by the way. And it's going up higher. Uh, currently, trying and Dragon right now is $120. I mentioned my market watch not long ago to pick these up. Hopefully, you guys did. Because uh, these prices are goofy as hell. Uh, $135 for the uh, Seeker of Electric Electric Electrify these. The Ultima Rare. Um, look at all these mobs. Lightning Play Unlimited is $160. And if you want to grab a first edition version, uh, we'll go with Lightning Play. Uh, it's about $200 for this one card. Oh, Konami. Ask a friend. Ask him. Hey, can you hook a boy up with a $200 card? I promise I'll give it back to you at the end of the meta. <laughs> Listen, let me explain something to you, though. Let me just flip it on you real quick. Because, yes, Legacy Structure is a fuck you set. Yes, Tempi, that Tempai Dragon card is definitely short printed as a super rare. Even though Konami promised they won't short print this in core sets. Remember that? Anyone, anyone forgot about that? We were promised we're not going to get short printed. They said we're not going to short print you. And then they short printed a super rare. Okay? They'll say whatever, but let's be real. They short printed the fuck out of that card. With that said, Tempai Dragon is a budget deck, which sounds crazy. But then you have to also realize what's the other decks in a meta. Voice is voice. That deck costs more than Tempai Dragon. What else is in there? Fire Kings, any version of Snake Eyes. That costs a ton of money. This is a tier, I would argue, I would argue, this is a tier 1 deck that's budget. And by budget, you're dropping $200 in this deck. Yes, once again, Trident Dragon is going to rip you apart. Uh, the other Tempai, three of hims rip your part. The rest of the deck is relatively inexpensive. Uh, another card that might cost a little bit of money that you might have to buy, you would definitely have to buy, is Heat Wave. Um, once again, Heat Wave would be the other card. And it's rising in value because once again, if, if, it's, if everything else is over there is relatively inexpensive, the market bounces bounces off. Um, Axel Friend, if he plays Speed Duels. Make fun of if he does real quickly before you ask him about this card. Make fun of him like, religiously. Like, he's playing speedos and he goes, yeah. And just laugh at that idiot. But he will probably have three heat wave because they don't really use that in speed duels. Uh, and the cards right now are around $16. Well, realistically, let's see. What's tax on all about 17 So, yes, you're going to need this card. But once again, $300, we'll say most. Uh, but that's for Tempies and they're a really good deck. All right, so that's one. Looking at the rest of the deck, uh, looking at the rest of Legacy of Destruction, it's hit or miss, though. Like, if you're not playing Tempai Dragon, you have to go in and snipe certain cards. And some of the cards are relatively expensive if you do not want to get them QCRs. Now, for QCRs, that's a whole different thing. Uh, I'm not playing you, Bell, but if you were, then you obviously need, like, cards like Nightmare Throne QCR. Uh, if you don't want to get the Ultra Rare, which we'll, we'll look at that in a second. One Verudras, I would guess, uh, 155. So, there's, I mean, if you want to play Light Sworn, sure, and Centurion, and whatever, Rag Ragnarika, like, why not? Uh, but also, the QCRs in the set isn't that crazy. In fact, they're relatively inexpensive. Like, if you you still want to play Fire, and you want to run Snake Eyes Diet Bell Star, well, lucky for you, the QCR is $77. That's pretty inexpensive for a QCR, so that's not too bad for that QCR. Could have been a lot more. Konami could have fucked us really good on that one. Uh, looking at the other stuff, I want to go past the QCR. It's a lot of goofy QCR stuff that just you pull on load real quickly. All right. Nightmare Princess is currently the most expensive secret rare. It's roughly around thirty dollars. Nightmare, uh, Nightmare Throne right now is about twenty seven dollars. That's because, and by the way, within a couple of sales, and these aren't verifiable, but realistically, a real sale is twenty nine dollars for a Nightmare Throne. You need three of them if you are looking to play Ubel. Um, so that's important if you want to play Ubel. Now, is Ubel going to be the best second like, of meta? Probably tier two, I would argue. Maybe tier one point five. Maybe. Really, really hard to tell. Uh, but your bell's not a bad deck. Uh, but once again, if you want to play Tempai Dragon, it's $17, super rare. Verudras is $17 by itself. And the rest of the stuff's kind of, it gets weird. I mean, 
Uh, Diabilis, the original Sin Keeper, has insane artwork, but is the card going to see play? I don't know. Ragnarika, is this card going to see play? It's $14. I don't know. I don't think so. A Shine Sarcophagus, $10. Is it worth it? Like, are these cards going to see play? And when I, when I say that, it's obviously in the face of decks like Snake Eyes, in the face of decks like Fire Kings, in the face of decks like Voices, in the face of decks like Tempai Dragon. Are these decks good enough? The best one I would argue would be Ubel, but it's also the most expensive one at a Legacy Destruction. And if you're already done, like, Voices Voice, you need a super rare, you're ready, you're good to go. Um, some of the people are running that ultra rare um, uh, card. I don't think it's that good. Uh, but we'll look at her real quickly. Uh, where is he? Where is that card? Is it even in here? Like, I don't, I'm not crazy about that card. Sephira. Uh, Sephira even. And even QCR Sephira is 70 bucks. Most people that would run this card run it as a one-off, if that. I really don't like it as much. Uh, maybe, I, maybe I'll pick it up. Uh, the Ultra Rare is 6 and 8 cents. Like, it's not going to break the bank. So, it's all right, I guess. But once again, is it worth it? Um, Voices Voice is, has gotten a lot uh, cheaper. So, if you do want to play Voices Voice, you're not really paying as much. I mean, Lowe's used to be 75 to 38. Uh, Sephira's used to be a lot more. They're $4. Skull Gardens are 63 cents. So, Voices Voice is getting a lot more inexpensive uh, from what it used to be. So, that's also good news for anyone that does want to pick up Voices Voice, knowing the fact that it got new support. If you're playing Fire, I'm not even going to talk about that. It's expensive. Um, the new, there's a new card in it, though, so it's not as crazy. Uh, looking over at the QCRs, though. The QCRs are holding pretty crazy value. Like, low is 185. Used to be 200, but it's showing it here to be 185. Uh, let's go check it out. Once again, there's one over here at 185. After that, the next English version is about 185. Those are roughly around 200, I always like to say, though. Looking over at other cards, like Promethean Princess. A lot of people are playing one. I like playing two of this card. But a lot of players like playing one of this card. But even Promethean Princess, uh, it was some dumb numbers. Uh, it's roughly around 182, so it's actually cheaper than QCR Low. And this is from the expensive versions, obviously. Uh, Skull Garden used to be a lot cheaper. It did go up a bit. Uh, looking over at Skull Garden's price is about 143. You need two of these. Uh, anyone plays three of these, they're just wrong. I've seen Bills play three, it makes no sense. Uh, for high rarity, you bell. I mean, we're talking about you know 170. Here's the thing though, high, that's a high rarity QCR you bell. And if you're playing high rarity you bell, god, you must love that deck a lot. Uh, regular ultra rare you bells aren't as expensive. Ultra rare you bells gonna run you about $14, so it's not too crazy. Poplar is still seven dollars. Like, it's still there's still money in here, like Promethean Princess, $23. Um, so, I mean, you know, uh, Phantom Nightmare is still a money set, but it's not as crazy, uh, money set compared to what it was when it first debuted, obviously, but it does have some crazy deck cards in it, uh, crazy cards in it in general, popular being $100 QCR, I mean, once again, if you want to play Max Rarity, you're going to pay the Piper, I say get Goblin Bike of Max Rarity, <laughs> just to have, uh, look at all, uh, looking at the other cards in here, we know we're going to be getting, um, 25th anniversary rarity collection number two and this impacts the market so heavily it's insane so obviously when QCRs come out a lot of prices of cards go down in value and I was talking to a buddy about this earlier one of the cards I think is, is going to go down in value but not stay down is going to be so uh, Solemn Strike so Solemn Strike Ultimate Rare is currently I mean it's been going down it's roughly on 122 Ultimate Rare Solemn Strike is which position Oh no! It's oh no no! My, I was thinking about Solemn Warning. Solemn Strike Ultimate right now is about eighty, almost eighty dollars. Now we know it's going to get a QCR. We know the QCR is going to come out and kill the value of Ultimate Solemn Strike. In my opinion, I think Ultimate Solemn Strike is going to be worth more than a QCR. In time, uh, another card that's going to get a QCR we believe is going to be Solemn Warning. So Solemn Warning, another card once again, and this is obviously using more throwback format. So nobody's really currently playing Solemn Warning right now. Um, but it's always good to, to note the price of this card. Uh, this card right now, uh, near mint light played, uh, it's roughly around 80 bucks. Once again, relatively inexpensive. I still think this is going to be higher than the QCR. And then it's Solemn Judgment. So, Solemn Judgment. Now, this card right here, uh, had, it has a CR, it has a ghost. Uh, the Ultimate Rare version, which I think is the best version value-wise, $54. Once again, I think this beats QCR. You might go, wait a minute, V, I like QCR over Ultimate Rare. That's fine, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, when you look at QCRs and you look at the Ultimate Rare counterparts, QCRs are good, good value still. I'm not saying they're going to be shit value. They're going to be great value. Q uh, QCR nib $60. That's really good. Ultimate Rare nib used to be 200 
It actually, and you can look over here. You can see right here when I did that dip right over here, eighty-one dollars. Ultimate right nib right now is one hundred and twelve. Um, uh, I thought it was hitting around one seventeen. So once again, you can say you like QCRs. That's fine. But if it's an ultimate rare from an older ultimate rare a set like OTS one pack fourteen, for instance, the ultimate rares are going to hold better value. So just acknowledge that. Just just realize that, and not overpay for a QCR Nibiru. And I think you know all these new cards coming out in anniversary rare collection two, they're going to be really high priced on release, and a lot of people are going to run to them. And I don't blame some of the people because I'm hoping for Ivy Mascarena. Like I want that QCR. I own the. Um, and this isn't the flex. I'm just being honest with you. Like, as far as, like, what I... One second. Mascarena. Like, I have the Starlight Red Mascarena. The Q, by the way, QCR 155. Not a bad price. Okay? Let's double check it real quick, actually. Because it used to be around 272. Yeah, 155 from 272 within three months. Like, once again. Uh, Starlight Red, though, it did take a fat hit as well, by the way. It used to be $700. And now it's... Let's get it. Can we get an English one that's verifiable? Yeah, almost five hundred dollars. But with that said, it was going a lot lower. Like I remember, I remember the Starlight Rare going like four hundred dollars. Now it's around five hundred dollars. I think Starlight Rare Ivy Masquerade will start keep climbing. Even with the QCR, which I would imagine would hurt the price, I still think Starlight Rare because it's very hard to pull compared to its QCR counterpoint counterparts. I think the Starlight Rare will hold better value. With that said, I, 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 I'm I excited about the new QC uh, Ivy Masquerade because I like the artwork. I think the artwork is really cool with the motorcycle. Like, that's badass. And I really wish they made this a Starlight Rare, but as a QCR, this is still going to hold great value. So, there's still value in Anniversary Rare Collection. Once you get the prices and once you get the cards listed on here, I'll probably go over what I think is good QCRs to buy. And I would recommend QCRs to walk away from. Once again, if it's an older, older Ultimate Rare, that will hold the best value. Do not get tricked by that. One thing to note, though, is a lot of players are going crazy over, was it Ghost Mourner, I believe it is? Uh, Ghost Mourner, uh, she jumped in price after uh, after players started realizing this card's really good. The starter rare start, started really go crazy in price, and now you're seeing it go down in price because we know it's going to get a QCR. And I expect it to go lower. So right now it's currently roughly around, let's say, near $200 uh, for this Starlight Rare. It's going to get a QCR. The question is, what will happen? Well, I think Ghost Mode and Moonlit Chill might go down more in value because of QCR release. Because everyone will opt for the QCR. With that said, I do think it will start rising up more in value if it was to see more play. Now, that's the question. Will it see more play? We really don't know. So, I do think 25th Anniversary Rare Collection is really good to buy. As singles, always. Uh, but you have to know what to buy. Don't don't go in and buy. Unless you're, uh, once again, if you personally like it, then it's fine. But if you want the highest rarity, if you want it for best trade value, there's some cards that you're going to get banged on. And you could have got more money because other cards, like, 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 I, like I mentioned earlier, Nibiru, used to be around 200 was as low as $81. And now you're seeing here starting to do a rise up. And there's a lot of cards that are going to be doing that with the release of 25th Anniversary Collection. Even though it's been it was 25th anniversary collection last year, we're doing it this year, 25th anniversary collection. I I would imagine my great grandkids are gonna be still be celebrating 25th anniversary. Could not be juice the fuck out of me collection. So there's that. But guys, let me know what you think about this. What card are you expecting to pull from 25th anniversary anniversary collection? Uh, the Konami Juice set of this year. We might get in the, hell. We might get a third one by the end of the year. Who fucking knows? Uh, let me know what you think about um, as far as what deck you're playing this meta too. I'm gonna want to know what everyone's playing, and let me know what you think about Legacy of Destruction. Is it a good set or a bad set? If, I, once again, if you're playing Ubel, it's a phenomenal set. For other decks like Voiceless, that spell card is insane and definitely really good. I just did a Voiceless deck profile not long ago, uh, and once again, for other decks, it's cool stuff. Uh, but is it good enough as a set by itself? This could have been a subset, and I think we, it would have, it would have been the same result as far as valuation as time goes on, because I think it's going to be going down in value, in my personal opinion. Anyway, Puzzles, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, comment down below. It's your boy V, and you Puzzles have a great day.